Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back out at the retreat location and one of today's projects is completing the ground on the off-grid solar power system. Here I have my Morningstar TS MPP T60 charge controller and in the back there if you can see that is a ground post and I never quite did finish this project up so that's what we're going to work on today is ground this system out to our external ground rod. We'll bring the inverter over, ground it too and then we'll run ground wire up to the individual panels and put everything on a common ground going to the ground rod for the house. So we have the box open, we made a trip to Home Depot, we got some number six ground wire, we're going to drill some holes today and get everything grounded. Alright guys, so video making this weekend didn't go as planned. We did finish grounding the off-grid solar power system. I had planned to do a video installing the base station antenna for the general mobile radio service there. I did get it mounted on a board last night, painted it the color of the cabin. While working on the off-grid power grounding, I managed to cut my Cat5 cable to my internet radio and reset the radio. So a better part of yesterday afternoon was reinstalling Cat5 cabling to get the internet back up, reaching out to the vendor to reprogram that radio to get us back on the air for internet up here at the retreat location. So we didn't get to any of the video making I had planned this weekend. What we did get done is we grounded the off-grid solar power system. And we'll get under the deck here. We're grounded at multiple points. There's the ground rod there. We have a nice piece of number 8 wire, solid strand, coming out of the block. And that grounds to that ground rod there, which is also coupled to the house ground. I have more ground rods as well. That wire goes inside and grounds out the inverter and then it runs up to the charge controller and then runs up to the solar panels themselves. So we'll walk around the side of the house and I'll show you the other ground point of where all this got tied together. Okay, there's our new ground wire coming down from the charge controller. This comes out to the second set of ground rods here on the side of the house. The power ground for the home. I actually took the nut off and cleaned that up with some sandpaper. Got it all put back together. And I'll put a coupling up here as well to hold it together to keep it out of the way of the weed whacker. Not the weekend I'd hoped for with respects to making videos, but we did get this project done and got half of the GMRS antenna video done. So hopefully next weekend we'll be able to do some radio videos and I'll sleep a little better at night knowing that I've finally properly grounded the off-grid solar power system here at the retreat location. It's been far too long and I should have done this on the first day, but at least we got it done. We're all packed up. We're going to head back to Virginia. Hopefully I make it back in time to check into this evening's Tapper and HF radio network. That's the American Preparedness Radio Network, and I'll put a link down below to that. And until next weekend, the retreat's going to have to sit up here and take care of itself. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with not the best video making weekend, grounding out the off-grid solar power system out here at the retreat location. Thanks for watching, guys.